Greetings everyone, here's Lodric and this is the game War in the Pacific Admirals Edition. This is a play by email match against Jochen, Jochen the Allied player. For me still the Empire of Japan. One day turn uh, on scenario one. So today we will enter the 25th February 1942, the day after uh, I crashed the last resistance in Java, I think. Yeah, the Dutch forces gave up, but also my battle in Changsha was uh, against repelled the turn before. So I need a new strategy for the center force in uh, China. And today it looks like that the American submarines have not so much success. At least up to now. Last turn there was the most successful submarine day the allies sinking one of my super good APs and sinking some small cargo ships and Jochen's surprise uh, strike with his battle cruiser formation at uh, Port uh, Blair. Here is, uh, this is uh, between Port Moresby and uh, here Townsville at the east northeast coast of Australia and there's a submarine and a small cargo ship but the value of this cargo ship is too small for the commander to waste his torpedo, so he not engage. But now he won't. Don't ask me why. This is the other submarine now using the deck gun to attack this. Also, I think this is a Chongqing, so this is maybe uh, cargo ships from from China at the beginning of the war uh, escaped Hong Kong maybe. But uh, they can escape maybe one battle, but sooner or later I will find them and get, bring justice. Again, I patrolling here the ocean for the greater good. And we hear some sinking sound. So the Japanese Empire strikes back. Now I trying a night attack. Ah, I think I forgot to talk about this last time. I think I had to recon information that Jochen moved in uh, fighters to Chongqing to maybe cover the base. And uh, I don't want to engage in this battle directly, so I choose to go for a night attack. Maybe I can destroy or damage some airplanes here on the ground. Depending how successful the strikes uh, are, I maybe can consider to make a daytime bombardment. You can see flying tigers are here. I can kill one and damage some more. Again, nighttime bombardment, the efficiency is low. It is heavily related to the experience of the pilots and uh, also the skills so but even with all of this i don't have radar and i don't know what else will impact this but i would say it is you, know, you need a very high level for ground bombardment and the experience and it's the luck that is working and even with all of this i can maybe only damage here some airplanes but what i can damage uh, it's hard to repair especially this Flying Tigers and the uh, Lightnings, they all have very high service uh, ratio, so I'm not sure how much AP support Jochen have here. So even if I damage something, so I can kill you one more. Uh, and maybe limited the efficiency of his defense. The problem is only my recon information cannot separate between damage airplanes grounded and they're ready for fighting. So uh, I must, yeah, maybe speculate how many fighters are active here after my bombard. It's also not a really very successful engagement here. It is minor stuff, killing 2-3 airplanes on the ground and maybe disabling 10 or 20, in best case, will not change much. If you often bring your 50 or 100 fighters, what I want, it's, it's still your space, so if I attack here, 
my pilots are lost and he can recover his pilots and only losing his airframes. Only damage. So I need normally kills. But I only can create damage. Or oh, no impact at all. So, just so-so, maybe more a moral attack, uh, not really, a, yeah, with impact. So more thinking, so maybe both of the small cargo ships just go down. And the next small base in the Dutch island chain I try to conquer. Still no enemy fighters showing up. Cargo's burning, so this is a wet cargo ship. Somewhere at the yeah, at this island, and going maybe for Auckland. So nothing important, but uh, yeah, a moral victory, and it's going down. We can hear the sinking. A little payback after the disaster from last day and last turn. And many, many, many submarines. I have a better and better uh, uh, yeah, skillful pilots now for this kind of warfare. The Japanese completely lacking any pilots training for submarine warfare. I mean, the whole Japanese Navy and air war completely ignoring enemy submarines. Uh, the doctrine is always very aggressive. The Japanese submarine attack, but for some reason they never prepare that the Americans and British can also do this. So the Japanese submarine are good for striking, but there's nothing really in the arsenal so far to prevent American and British Dutch submarines to attack me. So now I go full sweep and I was hoping maybe that Jochen try something American and uh, yeah fight to the last man but no in the moment the Americans they have no no easy way to win they give up and run away so and I try to slow down a little bit I must catch up I want first bring in my my support units over the land before I cross the river, so I keep the moving uh, around the river crossing uh, at a slow speed so that I can synchron the attack that I have a uh, river crossing and at the same time the left attack. So I need two more turns. At the same time, I try to slow down every Chinese unit I can catch and weaken them. So there are some buffaloes still in the air and after a long time we had a real air war. I don't know how this will end now. I hope I can simply kill them all. The first British pilot of airframe is destroyed. 
and the second they don't even damage. But we always coming from behind. Simply uh if I coming from the front then they're always running away. And I'm here to bring justice and this are all only yeah, a bunch of uh, criminals trying to prevent that uh, the rising star or uh, rising sun will take over these islands and these bases and uh, free the people of unjust uh, colonization. So, again, the right and justice is always with Japan, and terror is the only thing what the British, Dutch, and Americans have to offer. Luckily, I can really bring the uh, many enemy airplanes down. I was missing always the opportunity. I always try to lure Jochen's fighters out and these bombers, but most of the time they simply ignoring me. My zero is catching fire, that is never. But immediately we're striking back, making sure to let everyone know there is only one order, one true order. Yeah, and only to separate this, this and both buffaloes. The Dutch simply uh, going the way with uh, no armor, more nimble, a little faster, and the British say you going more the American way, uh, more protection and also heavier guns, uh, but slower and uh, less maneuver values. At the end, I would still say the Zero is a better airframe, uh, and you always need a good pilot. the game will uh, really calculate this but in reality I think the 20 millimeter cannons of the zero had only 60 uh, bullets per gun so but I mean it was always in synchrone so you can make 60 strikes with the 20 millimeter cannons before you're running out of ammunition and I'm not sure if this is enough to really kill two maximum three airplanes even the best pilot will have uh, a shortage it must return. Without ammunition, you cannot fight. Buffaloes are diving on my zeros. So far, the buffaloes had no chance to create one clean kill. Of course, they damage some of my zeros. And maybe I will create out of these ops losses. And to remind everyone, uh, my industry can put out 110 zeros per month. This is uh, industry output I push for, and not more. Uh, simply, I can create maybe more airframes, it will cost me only more supplies. But I even, I must also replace the pilot. So if I have 1000 zeros in stock, what I can do with this? Uh, 
So I would think 110 per month is the number I can maintenance. Because I get 150 pilots per month. So I not really need to produce more airframes than 150 so far. So maybe maybe three, four, five kills and we will see how many ops losses. And not a total victory but a clear uh, message to Jochen that, that his time is over here. He better try to escape. And because of two of these uh, Dutch uh, bombers they don't listen to their co comrades. Or they thinking they are the flying Dutch. So we intercept also this guy. And get rid of the first. And get rid of the second. So nothing left. Dutch uh, bomber force is now over. Oh, wait more. Some really air war today. Not only simple bombardment here, simple bombardment there, some activity. The heroes of Japan trying to defend uh, the poor uh, local minority and uh, uh, I don't know who's living here normally. Borneo people? Who knows who's Borneo people? But I will send some J Japanese engineers later to bring. Uh, Culture. And then I hire all this local population and give them a, a wartime contract. Working for the Empire is always everything what they need. And uh, we don't need any lazy people, so accept the contract and everything is fine. You get paid in water and rice, maybe. You can see the difference uh, if uh, this is a front attack and it's really much harder to really create the the kill or the damage to you have a kill often then damage each other and then break off the attack so if it's possible for doesn't matter if it's a Japanese or allied airplane if you can come behind and if the moment you are behind the enemy then there's a very high chance to create a kill nearly f I would say 50% at the moment the airplane is able to maneuver behind the enemy and attacking from behind uh, often did. But we see that the buffaloes are diving now on the zeros. same time my zero gets damaged so let me see if I can return to base with this This never happened. My pilot maybe only uh, push the wrong button and then uh, make a um, self destruction. Not that the enemy uh, really hit my airplane. So, one fake uh, kill for my zero and one buffalo kill. Now, yeah, at the end of the turn, we will see how many really gets killed. Oh, more buffaloes. 
How many buffaloes in Jochen still have you? And it looks like that the buffalo is now diving on my zeros. But luckily the skills are still with me. Ugh. Second zero. I think my guys are simply tired. Too many of these British buffaloes. Critical hit and a kill. So the revenge. So the kill ratio is clear in favor for the zeros, the problem is simply only how many of these uh, damaged airplanes must return to base are uh, losses. And how many pilots are losing here. Because uh, most of these British pilots they jumping out and then they are back in Tarakan. They lost the airframe but maybe they can find another deck. I hope I can at least uh, get rid of some of them, maybe wounded and then they will not return or first return in three months, something like this. Oh no. Kill ratio 1 to 3 is maybe, this is still in favor for the Japanese, but we will see really how this ends. I was coming in a... Uh, I don't know, wait, wait, wait. Du, 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 du. There's some information I think missing. The British come maybe in 9000. Ah, yeah, we are all around 10,000 maybe. Hmm. I can check later. some air war nice some um, uh, something new I mean not really completely new but something we was missing long time I 
But yeah, don't stay so near to the Brisbane. Also, Sydney is simply not safe. Four or five hexes minimum distance. Ugh, bad weather. So there was an airstrike. No end of my bed is find something but they cannot attack. Weather each. So I sweeping, but there's nothing to sweep. So any land battle? Not sure. Ah, bombardment of Chunchu. We'll see how this plays out. But I'm not more sure if I really continue this. Uh, if there's really no meaning to break Chunchu, then I can maybe stop it first. I, of course, I can damage here units, but it also consumes supplies. So. I will think about this if I maybe rest or pause this kind of action and activity and continue this maybe later on after I can stabilize the supply situation in China.
So Bombardo was okay, but uh, we can see here again that Jochen is uh, able to reinforce this uh, tech value. So all his losses are covered up, and I still roughly one and half thousand less attack value than before. So it makes no sense to attack here any further. So picking up here the space, this is my landing force. Now I have the space, I can land my division next turn. At the same time, secure here base. Also taking to our player. And you can see that the attack value was 60, so 60, 61 is the maximum attack value of this uh, Navy Guard unit. So nothing gets disabled or destroyed. The Thai police still trying to arrest all of this India bandits and. Uh, uh, bandits and terrorists, I don't know how you, what you want to say. They're irregulars. They don't give up like the Singapore forces. So, I would say they are terrorists. They're stealing from the poor Malayan people. So even the Thai police must come in to stop this kind of nonsense. Bjorn don't want to give up. He used every trick to make the life of the poor people miserably. So, end of the turn. And we arrive at the 26th February, so we are very close to the end of the month. So, a lot of air war over Boer Tarakan. And we can see that the kill ratio was at the end not really so great. 17 buffaloes, these are the British. Uh, and we kill one Dutch. So 18 to 9, exactly kill ratio 2 to 1. Uh, because mainly I lost uh, 4 ops losses similar to the Dutch, uh, British. Air to air it was a much better ratio, then it was 14 to 5, nearly 3 to 1. Yeah. We also kill two of these bombers, but they have no real impact. And I can kill five flying tigers uh, on the ground. Nice to have. But this is everything. Yeah, the rest is only small ops losses uh, for any activity in the war. Good. Out of this uh, many pilots, I have four killed, six and two missing. So. Likely that I lost my pilots here. Uh, we can check later. Ship sunk. I hit one of these better cargo ships. Long range. Uh, standard speed I would say. But capacity. Most important is this is super long range. And a mini ship. This is this Chinese kind of ship. No, official is a British ship because it's Hong Kong. Yeah, it belongs to Hong Kong. Okay, good. I can uh, we can check first this uh, air war. I don't know if I operate out of Miri. I think so. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is the squadron had this uh, two missing in action, one wounded and one killed. So I lost four pilots. You can see that uh, this was a squadron of 45. Now I am down to 37. Sometimes the damaged airplanes are going to the reserve. Not sure why exactly, but sometimes this happens. You can then bring them back and in again. Or you can keep it here and then the game normally automatically uh, takes them out. But uh, so I lost three pilots and one is wounded. They normally all Japanese wounded pilots coming back. There's no, we don't have this kind of stuff. So you fight and you die and then it's over. But if you're not dead, then you still fight again. And even if you have no arms or legs left, there's always something you can do. So, and I have now 72 kills with this squadron. So this is one or this best squadron at all. And you can see there are many elite pilots here. I get a lot of experience in this battle here today. And uh, so, here if you go to, I oh know, you must go to request the veteran, and then you can see this is the wounded pilot. 
This guy is wounded and in six days he's coming back normally. So they was operating a long range cap in 10,000. Maybe I had to choose the other altitude to have a better diving advantage, but the problem is I want to intercept the ground attack. So and if you make ground attack, I cannot go too high or I will not intercept this. You can also see that the fatigue is now very high, so they need at least two days rest. Good. Anything in China? Not really. Here in Mongolia, I was now able to arrive at the hex, so I will normally next turn attack here. I have no fatigue, so I'm completely ready. Everything is fine. The only thing is missing is one squad. And yeah, this is all what is missing. So if I can wipe them out or if only uh, force them to the mountains, we will see. But if they are in the mountains, maybe they die because I don't know how they won't survive there. If they are not the monkey king, then it's hard to survive in the mountains. Here I need one more turn to move in. So I am at full move mode. Next turn I will arrive in Xi'an, then I must still change to combat mode and attack. So in two days we have the battle of Xi'an. And he's still pulling out, so... I don't know how many units are left, but I hope it's simply less enough that I can make an easy kill and still enough to have an impact. And hurt him a little. The bombardment of uh, Shangsha is... Uh, I will now stop with this. Uh, my attack value is simply too low to justify this. So I will reinforce the source and maybe push here in the source or this is unlikely to go here north. There's still too many units blocking me here. But maybe here is a more easy way here, only three units. So if I walk here around and then I have a supply change from this court, so even if Jochen try to block me here, it doesn't matter. If I walk here and kick him here out, then I can maybe move here on uh, Quilling and uh, also here is Nanning and uh, Liu Shou. So if I give pressure on this basis, maybe he must force to divide units and then I have another opportunity. Philippines is nearly over. So I took the base, I can unload my division, then I must catch up. I also can see that Jochen arrive here, maybe he will attack me. We will see how this uh, plays out. Hopefully a victory for me. Here's no change. I, I After I took these two bases, I will rest my units and then I will ship them to Tarakan and help you. The problem is only that one of these units, I think, is a little burnt out. This guy is burnt out. They only can... They must wait one or two weeks. This guy is okay. This I will use to move up to secure the oil. I must secure the oil so long there's a unit here nearby, I must get rid of it somehow. So I have maybe two navy guard units I can bring to Tarakan to end all this mess. I also capture with Tarakan, I'm not sure if I saw this last time. So here's a lot of crude oil and resources and also some fuel. So the base is full and Jochen never empties this base. Not bad. At least something I can use. Nothing here. So I think I put my air force on navy strike. Yeah, you can see now I'm on navy attack, but only 12 hexes. Uh, because I was not sure what is here waiting behind. But here is no target more left. But we have now here many, many, many targets. I also can see that Jochen moved most of his fighters away, so he has only 24, before he was 150 fighters. So I also bring some additional uh, bombers and fighters here in position, that I maybe can attack with this kind of aircraft everything, or the shipping here in the north. But it's always hard to, to manage this, because the commander on the ground is independently, and he can attack whatever he wants. I only want to show here that Jochen have here 64 fighters, I attack them at the night. An additional 87 fighters in this hex. So he bring all his fighters from Rangoon to center of China. Last time I don't show this completely. 
But the reason why I make this night attack because I saw here so many fighters, so I attack at night and not at day. I can maybe fight with 40 or 50 fighters, but nothing more. And if you have here 120 and more, oh. even if out of this 120, 20 or 30 are damaged, then there are still 80 or 90 fighters. But the uh, opportunity is now that because all of the fighters are in China, that now I can say, okay, only 24 fighters. Then maybe I can activate all my navy bombers and simply attack now Rangoon and all shipping because 24 fighters are not enough to stop my escort fighters. Good, in the source Pacific, submarines looking, I protect the base of Luganville, simply building up, nothing. I'm moving here now, you can see I come here from I'm source east now. I'm moving east. I tr still try to find if there's any movement. I'm in the position that I can. If Jochen come here out, maybe I can intercept it. I still have no detection here. Uh, I also move here source. Maybe because I know that the cargo ships was here. Here I attack, so I will maybe bring my cargo ship here in this, catching this cycle or triangle. And maybe my carrier can block here the northern way, but it's always hard. This is only one carrier with only dive bomber. Uh, hard to really do anything. Uh, here's my next carrier. We are now at the line with Tulagi. I will go the direction still here east of Luganville, maybe in this. I bring me first in this position, and then I will see if I can find anything. Here is nothing, here is nothing. We had here some detection, but now it's lost. I must still move normally to the Auckland line. Uh, but I don't have enough subs. Japan is always missing something. Good. Thank you all. Take care. Bye bye.